So today I am at uh, Jury's and Hotel to attend the club meeting. And as you can see, my name is well. Uh, that is not taste by the club. So here we uh, try to interact with the people and uh, try to improve our leadership and communication skills. They are all they are all the Scottish people today. One lady, Tracy, was from United States, Texas, and uh, Frederick was from Germany. Others were Scottish, except myself. But it was work learning experience that I really enjoy. I'm returning back from the club meeting that took place at this hotel that is just in my background that is jury is in just adjacent to the uh, Clyde River there was a meeting of this club and I really enjoyed being part of this club and you can see uh, this name attached to my shirt and uh, there were lots of senior members. One lady was from United States, Tracy. Uh, she was from Texas. Another uh, a member was from uh, Germany, Frederick. The rest of them were from Glasgow. Uh, all of them were Scottish except myself. And I really enjoyed being part of the meeting. So weather here is uh, amazing and uh, I'm enjoying definitely over here. And uh, Day has been quite productive and now I'll have just wind up the marketing assignment so that tomorrow I'm free from that space and then it's going to be all right for a couple of days and then I'll have to start another assignment. Being part of the, that club we try to learn something uh, that helps, helps us to develop our communication and leadership skills. Uh, sensory, uh, I need to buy something, some food stuff and uh, then I need to prepare my food. So weather has been lovely uh, over here in uh, Glasgow uh, since a long time. It's been raining. Uh, winters are a bit quite scary for international people who are coming over here because in winters it's raining every single time. And in my background you can see this is the Tesco and subway station. Uh, this is the subway station uh, in Glasgow. Over there is uh, Bank of Scotland. Uh, in Bank of Scotland, uh, I, I, in that branch, I also opened, got opened my account uh, because they had very easier and smooth procedure. Uh, that is the HSBC branch. And this is uh, Bank of Scotland. So within that branch there is a coffee shop so this is the bank of scotland branch uh, there is a coffee shop as well uh, once you are here inside the branch you can uh, grab a cup of coffee while waiting uh, and, and until uh, and unless you have been uh, you are done with your work so this is the branch of bank of scotland it has just rained over here in Glasgow as has been norm as, win as winters are nearing the weather patterns have started changing as well this is the Argyle street that is the that is in the heart of city center and just next to my accommodation I need to purchase some groceries and my favorite donuts but I can't find my favorite donuts so I'll just grab something else That is Sentinok Sentinok shopping mall as well as Hi Paul, how are you? 
that is Saint Nox subway station. That is just closed my accommodation since I'm I have been living within the city center. Just close to the Prime Prime Mark. Just over there is my accommodation, Merchant City House, that is located at the heart of the city centre. And this is Argyle Street. Argyle Street is the main street within the city centre. So I just have to come out of my accommodation to find groceries, to find bus stops, railway stations, subway, bus stops, everything is just closer to my accommodation. I don't have to struggle to move somewhere else. And this is Ledbrooks. Ledbrooks is a painting company. While uh, I was uh, coming back towards my accommodation uh, from Sainsbury, uh, I came across some problem. There was a teenage girl. She was drunk and her parents were trying to take uh, take her to home. So she um, threw an empty bottle on me and sta started arguing. So I told her uh, that I'm not going to tolerate this bullshit and I'm going to call the police. And later on her parents uh, dragged her uh, away from me and uh, I was obviously exasperated uh, with that situation uh, and because that was quite unexpected but later on her uh, mom came towards me uh, I was uh, returning back to my accommodation and she kept asking me please uh, forgive my uh, daughter and do not call the police you know she is uh, drunk and we are trying to take her home uh, please do not mind and we are apologizing Later on, that girl also came and I uh, started uh, uh, asking for forgiveness that uh, I was fighting with you. Please forgive me. Do not mind. I told her that, uh, that is fine. And I also told her mom that try to control that girl because uh, that is something not good. I have tolerated, but some people will not tolerate that. So try to keep an eye on that girl and control her behavior. So her mom said, please, uh, we totally understand and that's what we are trying to do. But she is a very young girl and uh, please forgive her. So I, I told her uh, that is fine. And you know, then again, she requested, uh, I, 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 we really hope that you won't call the police. So I told them I, I won't, but just try to control your girl. 